Okay, I want to do a follow-up video on the repair I did to the chisel plow shank. The shank is right here, and that shank attaches to this casting through here. And when it hit a rock, it's supposed to kick up, but the rock was so big it couldn't even kick out. And what ended up happening was the metal tore right there. It pulled this top piece up, and it forced this bottom half down. It's still a little bent here, but there was probably a... I had to take these side plates off here, you can see, but there was a tear. It was about two inches open there, and it tapered down to nothing there. This whole piece bent down. And like I said, the top was up. So I ended up cutting the side plates off, and then getting it hot, and bending it back and then re-welding it um, and testing it and getting it fitted. It, it's kind of a snug fit, certain parts anyway. And then welded it all back together. The welds aren't beautiful, but they're going to hold. A um, little bit of undercutting, but like I said, I kind of overdid it and there's plenty of overlap in the plates. Good farm welding, I would put it that way. That's what I'll call it. So this is the spring assembly that goes through here. Uh, but I just wanted to follow up uh, with that. In between the uh, waiting for trucks, uh, corn to, to combine corn, I end up working on stuff like this. And it's, it's really satisfying, I gotta say. Almost more so than some of the farm stuff because it's like, wow, this is doable in a short period of time. It doesn't take years to uh, see the results. But just wanted to show that and then we can put it back. I'll put it back on here in a few days on the on the on the plow and we'll, we'll uh, put it back to use. Thanks for watching. Bye.